And those fuqaha, they wrote these books for your benefit. Whatever you require in your life, this is for you. So what do you need? The first thing you need is to buy and sell. And so they give precedence to the book of transaction. After you have bought and sell and you have saved some money, what do you want? You want to marry. So the ulama, they mention the proposal or the engagement and the conditions of nikah and so on and so forth. After you have married, what do you want to do? You need to learn how to live and interact with the women and how to cultivate, cultivate children. You married and children were bestowed upon you. So after this, what do you need? Allah subhanahu said that verily a man begins to transgress after he sees himself as being self-sufficient. So after a person married and earned and saved money and ate and drank, now there are problems which are occurring. So divorce happens. Knowing the laq and knowing the waiting periods. And then the next chapter after divorce, what the fuqaha speak about? So after there is divorce, the family of your wife or your ex-wife, they come, the brother, the father, why did you divorce? What's the problem? Then, and then there are transgressions and crimes. So then after the chapter of crimes or, or transgressions, what do the fuqaha mention? Then you have to go to the court. And so the fuqaha, they mention the book of Qadha and the book or the chapter of Qadha contains witness statements and penal punishments. So after a person bought and sell sold and ate and drank, married and divorced and inherited and then there was crimes and then those transgressions and then a person had to go to qada and then after this the penal punishments were uh, prescribed then what's next? No. And then after all of this the books of food and drink was said and hunting uh, no. and clothing Tama. all of this is mentioned so after this person has achieved all of this then that person he wants to finish. And what does he finish with? So the laws of inheritance or the study of inheritance, it, it is with the buying and the selling. So the fuqaha, they begin their books with purification. So you purify your inner self uh, before you purify your outer self. I either begin with tawheed. The fuqaha, even they begin with tawheed. And then after all of this, they begin their books with the book of purification. And this is a tawheed. And they end with one of two chapters. Either the book of al-itq, and this refers to emancipation. And this is as if a person is freeing his own neck and emancipating his own neck from the fire. Or the book of Al-Iqrar. It's as if a person is affirming his Tawheed, affirming his La ilaha illallah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever's last statement was La ilaha illallah, there's nothing between him and Jannah except death. So it's as if even in finishing the books of Fiqh, it finishes with Tawheed.